So first of all, we wanted to, I guess, uh, think about the saint of the day. Always that, a good idea. <laughs> because we want children to become saints. We want holiness to thrive within them. And so we were noticing about St. Rose of Viterbo, yes. who is the saint of the day. Um, Not to be confused with Rose of Lima. Exactly. When and I was a kid, I thought Rose of Lima was Lima. It was like Lima beans, but it's Lima. Anyway, <laughs> but that's another St. Rose. Pardon me. Go ahead. Rose of Viterbo. Go ahead. That's right. Viterbo. Yes. You yes. Know. And we found out that she is from... Italian saint. Yes. 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 Saint Lily. And way, way back, 1200s. <laughs> and, and what I love about her is that she was so devoted to God as a child. This is a saint that can inspire children. When she was how old? She three. Was three years old, she went to her aunt's funeral, held her aunt's hand, and prayed for her aunt, and her aunt came back to life. It's unbelievable. It's so incredible. <laughs> What I want to know, did they get a refund from the funeral company? I mean, burial was supposed to be included in every burial, right? What did they do? Well, maybe they got a special package for when she died yeah. again. Deferred payment exactly. when she died again. Right? Okay. <laughs> Boy, that's sick. Causing all kinds of problems. But anyway, with Rose, um, she didn't stop there. When she went on in her life, she would be so generous to the poor. And we want our children to think in terms of generosity. And what did she do? Well, she was sneaking bread to the poor, and her dad thought, man, she's taking all the food for the family. So she had it in her apron one day, and she had the loaf of bread in there, and he said, let's see what's in there, little girl. So she opened it up, and roses came out. Right. Amazing. Right. And the poor I... went hungry, but, you know, <laughs> I'm sure her dad said after that, yeah. go ahead, take yeah. it out. Whatever you want, just take it. Yes, yes. And what I love is that's a very similar miracle to Elizabeth of Hungary. And yes. children love when you connect the dots on things. Mm -hmm. So to be able to tell a child, well, look at what happened with Rosa Viterbo and Elizabeth of Hungary. And then later on in her life, she... Um, she ended up, uh, even as a teenager, so we can even have her inspire the teens, yes. um, that she would go in the streets and she would hold a crucifix and tell people about Jesus and how he suffered for them and how they should repent. And there was a, a woman that was a sorceress yes. in town. So really pulling people astray, you know, all sorts of, of toxic things. And Rose was so determined to get the attention of this sorceress what did she do? She jumped on the flames, right up on the top of the flames. So there right. was a fire, a fire in town. In town. Yes. On top of the flames, not burning for like three hours, right? Well, it, I don't know. It was either, I think it was, was so it three right. hours? Anyway, it was, it was three of something, three minutes, three hours, three right. whatever. But she walked back down out of the fire That's right. unscathed. That's right. Match that, you sorcerer. Exactly. That's amazing. Huh? And the sorceress was converted. Yes, okay? of course. That's the beauty, is yeah. that was uh. a soul saved through an incredible miracle. Yeah. So we're pretty inspired by... And what about her death? I mean, after death. Yes, she is considered an incorrupt saint. So you can actually go to a poor Clare monastery and, and still see Rose. Now, Not any poor Clare monastery. Right, right. Just, just the one where she is. Right. right. But yeah. she's not as perfect looking as Padre Pio and Bernadette of Subaru. Um, she's looking a little little weathered these yes, days. Yes, her face is kind of dark, right? Yes, but her teeth are in really great shape. I know, isn't it? Isn't that something? She's an indentured saint, right? <laughs> exactly. Okay. Exactly. No orthodontist fees. Right. right. Perfect teeth. Right. So anyway, we we hope that you are going to be off to a great day and helping inspire the children that you are involved with um, to want to be saints.